Hello guys and welcome, my name is Vlad. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use locking in Nest.js. So you might want to use logging at two different levels. One is inside your app, inside your services, inside your business logic. For instance to log any arbitrary value or to see how, how your logic basically executes. And the other place where you would want to use a logger is um, in, in the middleware, so you can log the requests that are coming to your app. So it can be a post request, a get request, you might want to log the body uh, that's coming. So all that will be done at this level, at the request level. So before we start, I would appreciate if you can like this video and subscribe to this channel. It will help me to make more of those videos. By the way, all the code here that you see here is available on GitHub in the link in the description below. So feel free to clone the repo and follow along if you want. We have a very simple application here, basically the, the starter, Nest.js starter. So we have a server running on port 3333. The reason why I'm not running in, on port uh, 3000 is because I often have React running on 3000. So I use 3333. We have an app service that just returns a string, uh, hello world. And we have a app controller that uh, has basically two routes that we are going to use for testing a get route and a post route on the root route, so if it's nothing uh, here, so it will be like that. And um, we have a simple app module, nothing nothing fancy here. So the first uh, logging level is at the server's level. So you would want to log um, something on the service. This is because in the controller, the logic is pretty simple. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Self you won't want to use a logging where the logic is dense and complex. So you want to know what is happening. If it's get hello, if this get hello, for instance, has uh, 300 lines of codes and a lot of things is happening there, you might want to put some log. So for logging, you could very well use console log, something like that, right? Console log test. But um, the thing is, uh, it's not very well, it doesn't look as good, I would say. So if we open the terminal here and we start that server and I will just make a curl request to, to the local host. There we go. If we do that, well, we will have a console log test. But um, see that thing? Uh, these green lines, those come from actually the built-in Nest.js logger. So we can actually use the Nest.js logger to do all that all that stuff. And um, let's inject it. So we need to declare it here, um, logger, logger, and it will be injected from the Nest.js here, Nest.js common. We need to instantiate in the constructor as well, this logger, new logger, right. And instead of doing console log, we can do this logger log. And here we go, we have a um, we have this log. If we call it again, we will see it again. We can have different types of log. You have log, you have warn, and you have um, debug as well. That might be useful. You can of course use some other loggers like Winston or Morgan, but why use something external if you have that built in, right? So that is that. Um, you might also want to kind of personalize the logger so you can say um, custom logger and that will actually use that namespace when it's logs. So you have custom logger here. You can also do something like app service dot name and that will actually use the name of that class if that makes sense so you have app service so that's quite cool um, I will put it back to 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 none here and uh, that's it you want to use uh, your logger inside your services mainly um, just to make sure that the logic is executed properly. This, of course, will be probably disabled in production um, unless you are using a asynchronous um, cron job or something like that. If you if this service is a cron job, 
you want you might want to use um, this type of logger a lot but again if you're using a cron drop you would want to customize your logger so it uses an external logger service like um, something like paper trail so solar winds or any alternative that does basically the same thing which is basically an aggregation of your logs and you can customize that based on the documentation of NestJS. you can use your own custom logger or you can use any any other transport it's a bit similar to what we have in Winston and Morgan but this logger you'll probably use mainly when you're developing when you want to have some overview of the values uh, that exist in your app you would want to use that okay so let's um, go to the HTTP logger so the request logger this is good to see what is happening in your app um, if you want to see uh, the requests that are coming to your app for instance if is, is it a get request post request what kind of values are passed you will want to use a middleware why middleware is because in nest middlewares are executed before any logic so before guards before interceptors so if you have something like a rejected request because the authorization is not right or because the token gwd token is incorrect um, this logic will simply not execute so it's important to put your logger before everything so we have a, a logger middleware here this is a pretty simple logic here uh, again it's using a namespace called HTTP you can use whatever you want again this code is available on github so if you uh, fail to follow just check on github and here we are just using the method so post get whatever uh, the um, original URL uh, status code and any information that you want to log basically and uh, the only thing that we need to do is that we need to inject that uh, logger middleware into our app you can do it um, globally in the main TS but I don't recommend it because well you lose the capacity to use dependency injection you might want to use it so we need to inject it in app module and I'll just reset it here because I have already done here and here we go so uh, the app module needs to implement nest module and it just needs to have a configure function that will apply the middleware on all the routes you can apply the logger on uh, certain routes only but you know you are going to use that in development mainly not in production in production you are going to use the reverse proxy something like nginx and probably this thing will handle the logs because it's much faster and uh, so this is all that mainly use is used in in development and uh, that way you can use the dependency injection in the middleware if you inject it inside the app module like that so we are going to restart our server yeah it's already restarted let's do the curl and you see that you have the the our internal logger and we also have the the request logger so let's go back into logger middleware and uh, i have another i have another um a route here a post route so let me curl into that route post and you see that now it's written that it's a post with status 201 etc so you can literally log whatever you want here in the middleware for instance i would want to log a body so i would say if um so method is not equal to get so you would have a probably body if if the method is not get something like post put patch you'll probably want to have a body here so let's log that body uh, so this logger log hmm, maybe actually something like another color error and it would be that would be request that body right so basically if we are going to use the post request it will it will log the the uh, the body which is which is null you can provide one uh, just quickly test. yeah I think it will it works and now if we use the the get request by default it will not it will not log the body 
So here we go folks, I hope it was useful. This is how I personally use Logger in SGS, mainly for development, not really for production. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and see you soon.